Hello everyone, this is Leonardo and in this video I'm going to show you the latest module that I added to the full compacts collection and it's called NOC. Uh, before I start, if you want to see uh, an, alt an alternate explanation, you can check Omri Cohen's video that he made about it. So he has, as always, very good demos and, and also musical pieces. But in this video, I'm going to focus more on the technical aspects of, of the of the module. So to start, it's it's a bass drum synthesizer, so you can produce like kick kick like sounds. And you may uh, so you may think that there is a lot of overlap with what Trumor and Trumor Two do. So I think that the main the main thing that it var varies is is the philosophy behind it. In the case of Trumor and Trumor Two, I wanted to have like a more generic percussion synthesizers, uh, but it happens that when I uh, define the start patch of Trumor and Trumor 2, it's styled to be a kick drum. So uh, when you add it, it's gonna produce a kick sound. And that's that's like the most use most uh, common use case. But but you can create like other kinds of percussions. And and Trumor 2 it has its, its own character. It's uh, for example, if, if you want to make a snare with it, you, you can get one, but it's not, it's, it's not very flexible to be a snare. You can get nice, nice hi-hats and you, and, and you can also get a very strange sounds out of it. But uh, it's, not, it's not like a focus module. And this is exactly what I intended to do with, with Knock. So as part of the compacts, I'm making modules that, that, that which the idea is be, be being more focused and and just help you like do in a simpler way the job. If you if you check uh, Freak, it just it has all the filters of Vault and, and it's a stereo filter, so you just drag it and, and start using it and you can change the filter. In the case of Incubus, you have the full synthesizer voice there which you just drag it or insert it and, and you can get uh, uh, without patching anything you, you get already useful sounds so knock i'm, I'm going to release uh, other modules like for example to make to make a clap sound and and other percussions knock is focused on on bass drums and this is the initial patch when you drag it it sounds like this So if we start looking at the controls, we have uh, the vent and time, which is the same as, as in as in Trumor 2. So with these two, you control the start pitch and also how long it takes. Like that. And you have the decay control, of course which can be very low or very, very fast. But this decay control is in fact, uh, is a decay and hold at the same time. So it changes both parameters. Then we have here the, the Fury control that what it does, it changes the, the oscillator or the behavior of the oscillator first we have. In its lowest settings, we have uh, like a sine wave. And as we start increasing it, we get a, a bit more of harmonics. And if we continue, we start entering to the distortion, which is gonna give this, this characteristic sound. On the other side, we have the, the noise section or, or the clicking section, which in, if you remember in Tumor 2, is, is much more it has more more parameters, but this one is much more effective. In this part, we have the depth control, which uh, defines how, uh, like, the volume of the of the click. And then we have the type of click, 
So what this does is changes the, the noise oscillators in order to produce like a different character. And then, then we have the shift control. What, that what it does, it, it changes the, the perceived pitch of the click. So, and yeah, and lastly, we have the tune knob in the center, which it can go one octave up and one down. So, um, then we have the, the modulations, which you can control uh, these four parameters, the fury, decay, depth, and shift. I'm not gonna show, show them to you right now. So what I'm gonna focus now, it's in the tune. Uh, if, if, the, if the pitch that you are aiming to doesn't, doesn't fit into this one, you can always use the tune and define your, the pitch that you want. And then you can use this one just to, to offset the pitch. One of the objectives when I was designing a knock it was that I wanted it to be like a good bass drum in almost all the positions you should be able of getting always usable sounds for example if I just randomize so almost all the sounds are usable for a, for a bass drum I'm gonna keep this one so then the next part that I want to show you is the, the stress the stress signal so it's it's a kind of an accent what it does it uh, i i use the, the model of the back troll that i developed for new rich and and it i use it to control the the amplitude of the of the of the drum so if, if we just connect it to to anything what we're gonna see is that the the overall volume decreases let me just with something like an ops. So if, if we are at zero, we have zero volts give us like 40% of the of the amplitude around that. Uh, 10 volts give us uh, 120%. But we can also have negative. So negative volts give us uh, closes the the gate so one interesting thing that you can do with it is for example I'm gonna take an LFO and if I just connect any signal I'm just make it bipolar so it so you get this this kind of uh, level control And okay, let me remove this one and I'm gonna use the LFO now as a as a clock. And let's put something like the pulse matrix. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one uh, just random a random rhythm to so the first channel is for the for the gate. I'm gonna take this square wave, connect it as clock. Let's just speed it up. We're gonna use the second to control the stress. So you could hear there that, uh, that there was a change in the volume. And I'm gonna so since this this one is backdoor bass control, 
it has uh, some reaction time. It takes some time to turn on and also some time to turn off. And you can you can hear like the effect that it produces in this case. But we can also change the pulse width, which makes it behave differently. For example, if you connect uh, only the LFO, let me take the square wave and also connect it to the to the same signal. Let's see. You can you can hear that as as I'm changing the pulse width, how how the pulse is becoming shorter and then making making close the the back troll amplification and it has a different effect if I use negative voltage because it is gonna close even more it's, it's interesting if you take uh, like two, two independent create like nice uh, or big patterns, patterns like this one in knock actually all, all, all the, the envelopes and the whole design it triggers quite fast so we can take something like um, let me take the VCO one I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna use it as, as gate. Then I can take something like caudal and connect it to the You can create this crazy oscillator with knock. That's it. That's how knob works. And as, as I mentioned before, I'm going. I'm creating more modules for this series of pool compacts. And yeah, if you want to get information about the other modules when they are released, just subscribe to this channel. And thank you. That's it. Bye.